Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about The Legend of Korra because the media can't stop talking about The Legend of Korra. They can't quit her. They can't quit Korra. I, I don't I don't get it. The show's been off the air for years. The, the whole, at the end of the day, it can all be summed up in, we're pissed because people like Avatar better. That's, that's what it's all summed up in. But Korra is more representative because they have a, a lesbian scene. Korra is boring. It was a very pretty show. It had some good concepts, but objectively, the show was boring as hell. Avatar was one of our favorite shows, one of our family's favorite shows, and we watched it through, and we were so excited for Korra. We were. We were very excited for Korra. Because we thought, thank God we're getting more Avatar, right? And then the show came out, and we're like, okay, and then it just kept going and going, and it's like... Is there a point? Is there, what is going, and we dropped after one season. And they're, they're talking about this article about Mary, uh, she's a Mary Sue, about everybody saying she's a Mary Sue. I haven't really heard that I have argument. not heard that. I have heard I that have. she's annoying and obnoxious and people just didn't like the character. That one I've heard repeatedly. The Mary Sue with Cora, I haven't really heard. Now I've heard it with Ray, which I get into on this. I've heard it with Ray. I was one of the first ones to say Ray was a Mary Sue. Um, as soon as I saw the film, I came onto the internet and said Ray was very Mary Sue, and it drove me nuts. It drove me nuts, and I was a woman. Um, but you know, I don't. I haven't really heard the Mary Sue criticism. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I just haven't really heard it. Mostly people don't like Cora because they thought the show was boring. Yeah, um, but that's the thing. And, uh, you know, to say that she's a, she's a Mary Sue, well, then Aang is too, because that is the nature of the Avatar. Well, that's their point. The Avatar, yeah, well, yeah, but people don't like... So then you've actually just destroyed your point because people liked Aang because the personality and they liked the show because it was funny, but they don't like Korra because she's a boring stick in the mud, mm -hmm. you know? And she's, she's just not a likable character. She is probably the least likable character on her own show. It's like that's uh, what we used to say. When we watched it. We're like, I like her the least. I like her the least. I like everybody else, but I can't stand now, her. Apparently, they said it got. Some people said it got better after the first couple, uh, couple seasons. We don't know because after the first season, we stopped watching it because it was boring. Oh God! So the Mary Sue criticism of of Cora is absolutely sexist. Again, I haven't heard that one. I've just heard the same thing that we've been saying, which is the show was very different in tone. And it was very boring compared to to Avatar. Now they're talking about it being a sexist term because you're criticizing about her. She's being a woman. That you have to do that again. No, that's not what it's about. I don't think people cared that it was a female lead. She was just not likable. So now they're explaining what Mary Sue is. So this is coming from Comic Book Resources. So let me remind you, Comic Book Resources, uh, which actually used to be a reputable news site, is basically Tumblr. And uh, people are getting paid like five or ten dollars an article to to write their opinions and it's say passed it's off news. and say it's news and it, it's definitely you know i don't think it's it's a terribly reputable site anymore but they talk about how um they've been ridiculing the sequel's protagonist for Korra as being a mary sue like i said i haven't really heard that i have not heard her. this this is a straw man article this is like yeah, we're gonna say very much so we're gonna say that people are saying it's a mary sue or maybe a couple of people said that she's she's I'm sure a mary someone sue said it before i just haven't really heard it but uh and then we're gonna say well so is ang so it's and they do they this do. with luke they, they do say that oh, so is ang they do they, they do this there. exact same thing with luke skywalker and it's not an accurate uh, comparison at all because we had with uh, Ray and Luke, Luke still had to train. Mm -hmm. Ray didn't have to train at all. In fact, they kill Luke off so Ray doesn't have to do. Ray has never never left the planet. So she suddenly knows how to fly the Falcon and and fix it better than Han. Yeah. You know, it made no sense. Um, but they, they even said, well, it's sexist if you say she's Mary Sue. And I'm like, so right off the bat, they start with that. I still love, they're, they're, they, they get to a point, they're talking about what Gary Stu is and all that. Oh, yeah, they bring up Ray. Mm. Um, so I love this part. Both accusers and defenders of Mary Sue targets accuse their opposition of allowing personal biases to filter their enjoyment of the story. One side supposedly defends disingenuous feminism, while the other promotes thinly veiled sexism. Where's the supposedly on the other one? Supposedly, when you don't agree with me, it's supposedly this, but the other side is this 100% because I said so. That's what they just did. I'm sorry, but you know, why is one supposedly and the other not? I mean, you, they supposedly do it on both sides. Uh, where Star Wars is concerned, the verdict is still out, but with Avatar, the conclusion is clear. It's just sexist. No, I hated Avatar and I'm a woman. I just thought she was, or, I mean, I hated Korra and I'm a woman. I just thought she was boring. Yeah, otherwise the criticism wouldn't be leveled at Korra, but it Aang's Aang is the, it's not Korra, Aang's the real Mary Sue. Well, 
Yeah, but the difference is uh, Aang's journey was much more enjoyable. Uh, Korra's was just, it was a chore to get through. That's not, I've never had a criticism of of Korra being a Mary Sue because I understand that's basically the Avatar is the Mary Sue of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, they can they can bend all four elements. But, that they, but have the, they all have the struggles to get there. And I, 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 I would never have used Mary Sue for Korra because she had struggles too. I just thought she was unlikable and boring. Yeah, yeah, she was the least likable character on her own show, you know. Um, so Korra does not experience any kind of effortless ascension through the plot of the show in order to be a Mary Sue. Uh, she would need to suddenly experience bursts of power or competence. Um, blah, I would blah, agree blah, with blah. that, but that, that's why most people don't say Mary Sue as uh, you know about Korra. Right, right, and they talk about how she she couldn't air, airbend in the first season, um, which is true. You know, but then they go about Ang, Ang was so amazing at airbending, yeah. Because he was an airbender. He was an air. Well, he had a problem with fire. He had right. A with but Cora could do what she could. What she was a waterbender. She could do hers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So while Ray and other targets of Mary Sue criticisms are, are also panned for flat or uninteresting characterization, there's little doubt that Cora has a strong personality. That's yeah. one way of putting it. Yeah, she was a brat. I she couldn't was a stand bitch. her. She, I couldn't was, stand her. Which at no point legitimizes that assertion from her debut saying, I'm the Avatar and you got to deal with it. She is headstrong and forth. And there's nothing wrong with that. But she was also unlikable. It mm -hmm. was like, I mean, and look, uh, you know, when you want to follow a hero's journey, you have to like the hero. Even even an anti-hero. The reason Deadpool's so popular is, yeah, he's in kind of an anti-hero, but he's... He's likable. He's funny. Um, not that she has to be funny, but she has to be at least tolerable. And she's not. It's yeah. like, God, I hate you. I hate every time you're on the screen and open your mouth. You know, that's not being a Mary Sue. That's just like you're annoying as hell. And Shut up. Well, their next argument basically is people just don't like it because it's not Avatar. And Avatars are popular. Well, your argument basically is people are all saying it's Mary Sue and they're not because you like Korra. And you don't really care for it. doesn't seem like you care for Avatar that much. So uh, Potter Kettle here. Yeah, they're talking about Aang and da 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 da. I think that uh, look, I'll tell you what I think the the biggest difference between the two shows is, um, one was thoroughly thought out as a self-contained storyline when they pitched it, and the other one was a tacked-on sequel. Mm -hmm. Because really, th the Avatar story is Aang's story, and that was what they pitched. And then they're like, let's do a sequel. Oh, uh, how we do that? Well, now we, we ask me a woman, of course. Has to, let's go in the opposite direction. Let's have an older girl. Let's make it more serious. Let's make her personality the opposite of Aang's. Let's make her, you know, headstrong, whatever, because Aang always had, like, he was funny and he always had a lot of self-doubt. Let's make her uh, ridiculously overcompensated. So, it, again, this is when they don't think it out before they pitch it. It was just like, let's make a sequel to, to Avatar. Well, this, can you scroll up a bit? This little, this, this, this the other way go up okay anyway this is what this whole thing sums it up completely this is this is the point of the, of the article the widely beloved original series does not receive anywhere near the amount of vitriol and condemnation of legend of Korra as, as legend of Korra and yet it's its central protagonist embodies most of the defining features of the very trope tried out some kind of damning evidence of bad writing Analyzing the differences between the two series and the eye towards identifying what can motivate each derision, the culprit becomes clear. The only real reason to say Korra is a Mary Sue and Aang is not is that Korra is a woman. I'm a woman. I've never said Korra is Mary Sue, but she is unlikable and I don't like Korra. You know, that the thing Aang is a Mary Sue or Gary Stu, just so you can have a point for an article and hope you get hits, it doesn't make it true. I don't. Where are they getting this from? I, I mean, look, are there people out there calling her Mary Sue? Probably. But I don't, this is not the criticism I'm hearing. The criticism I'm hearing is the show is boring as fuck. Yeah. That's the criticism I, I'm hearing. And I, I'll, I'll be honest, we've talked about it before. But my point is, they're yelling about people like making, like how beloved the original was and how they're, they're you know, yeah, they're not judging it fairly because it's beloved. Uh, this person obviously likes Cora, and I'm sorry, you're not being fair in the way you're judging it either because you like Cora better. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Straw man article. And, but the thing is, is this is one of many, 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 many articles that have popped up ever since um, they announced that Avatar was coming to Netflix, that they were doing a live action, ill-conceived, ill-conceived live action reboot of Avatar that all of a sudden it all became about Korra. Like, well, there's Korra too. Um, I was like, yeah, we know and we don't care. But you know, <laughs> but also this is this whole article about sexism is written by a dude. Oh my God, that's all he writes about. Yes. That's all he writes about is Korra. Korra and Avatar. And Avatar. 
There's Netflix. And now more Avatar. Little Star and Wars. So, and, and, Avatar, so basically, Korra, and, and you know, there's going to be Ray articles Korra. in here if you go down. I'm just oh like, you know. God. Korra is the most standard Avatar. Okay. This person clearly has an agenda where they prefer Korra. This person is like a Korra fan that somehow got themselves onto CBR and is getting paid to write Tumblr blogs. Paid very little, by the way, because mm -hmm. as we understand that CBR has is, is lowered their rate, it's like three bucks an article. So for three dollars an article, you can take a shit on Avatar fans and get paid. Well, here's the thing. It's like, I'm assuming it's a dude because it sounds like a dude's name. If it is, there's a dude on here telling me that I'm sexist because I, I don't like Korra. This is like, he's like the resident, like, Korra it's Avatar. All, oh my god, like That's how many all articles? it is. There's a couple other ones thrown in, but most all of it is, you know, oh, we got some X-Men in there. Okay, so there's some other stuff, but it keeps coming back to the same thing. Oh, there uh, we got more! Oh my god. Just go start, just go start a Tumblr blog about Aang versus Korra and get it over with. Because that's basically what this is. There's a couple things here and there. I wonder if somebody like called him out. Like, why are you doing nothing but Avatar versus Korra articles? Like, nothing but... They might get hits. They might get hits. That might be what's going on now. Because it is trending because of the uh, the stupid, idiotic, ridiculous, never should have been greenlit uh, live action remake. Well, that and the fact that people, they keep... It's, a, it's again, a case of where, you know, you can't just be like you like one, not the other. They have to pit everybody against each other constantly. You know, I didn't like Korra, but I didn't care if people did. I was like, okay, I thought it was boring. I didn't like her, but you know, hey, I understand you like her. That's cool. Um, but now it's not you. No, you have to like it. If you don't like Korra, you're a sexist. How dare you? I'm like, I'm a woman. I'm a strong woman. And I still think Korra is unlikable and annoying. People think I'm unlikable and annoying, and that's fine. Because <laughs> I probably am to some people, and that's completely fine. That's okay. They'll tell you in the comments. Right, like right. You. But right. they have to like me, and if I am, because I'm a woman... That's right. Even if I'm, if I'm annoying you, it doesn't matter. You can't say anything bad about me, because if you do, you're sexist. You're against strong women. How dare you? How very dare you? Oh, in other news, apparently Grenda's trans. That's the top story. Does that surprise story. anybody, really? No. That's <laughs> the top story on CBR, so I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody would be surprised by that at all. Is there any comic book news? But no book one cared. News? No one cared. No one cared. Does, is there any comic book news? This is, this is comic book resources. Well, they took that, that out, and that's just CBR, Comic Book Resources. And so Gravity Falls, Supernatural, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Batman, okay, there we go. And it's just not even, nobody cares about comics. There's a whole section that says comic books right next to it. That's why. Yeah, but you have to actually tap, it's all manga. That's, that's actually a valid point. It's all manga. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. We're going to wrap it up? Yeah. Okay, so they can't quit Korra. Uh, just wait, just you wait. You will get your turn. They will remake, they will do a live action remake of Korra and it will be a train wreck. That's right. I guarantee it because this live action avatar is going to be a shit show. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.